Because I learned. Hey, get your camel back out, honey. Where's your camel back? Right here. Okay, get it out. And now, you just sit here in the shade. Hey guys, myself and daughter number one are going to take a little uh, father-daughter time today. Even though it's going to be over the hundreds in the desert today, we are going to go ahead and head out and we're going to talk about how to protect yourself a little bit in the desert. Um, specifically, how to prevent dehydration by stopping the sun and those UV rays from getting directly on your skin. We've got the old uh, Dave Canterbury 5 C's with us today. We both have cordage with us. We both have a combustion device. We have cover. We do have a cutting tool and both of us have a container. Now, some of you may be looking at the container and thinking, well, plastic, camelback. I mean, you might be able to do some slow, some, uh, some slow purification, keep it up at, you know, 160 for quite a few minutes over a fire. That might be, you know, not the best option. One of the things is that here in the desert, uh, you have to dig so far to get to any water that it won't really do you any good. The water in the desert is so far underground, or specifically out here, it is so heavily fluoridated that it uh, won't do you much good to be able to drink it. All you can do is pour it through sand and purify it to real or to. Uh, yeah, purify it to get it out. It won't actually really disinfect it, but it will strain it, you know, putting it through a filter like that just with sand and, you know, setting up your different sizes of sand. So for out here, we're leaving the house. We're actually walking out of the house today and we're only gonna be going about 300 yards away. So there's no need to bring a large amount of stuff. Uh, so we said just the five C's, she'll be carrying uh, half a liter with her. I'll be carrying one and a half liters with me. What we're going to talk about today when we get out there is different ways to set up this, you know, GI issue poncho. Um, and as you guys all know, the same stuff is going to work for space blankets as it will for GI issue ponchos. The only issue we're going to have is durability as far as the desert's concerned. There are some uh, additional features of the, the Mylar space blanket in regards to heat, you know, keeping it in. But when you're talking about simply just getting yourself a place in the shade underneath the wind, these two are going to be, are, they're going to cover the same purpose for us today. But I will be able to reuse this and be able to keep it working, you know, so we can do things like practice tie it, putting uh, Indian buttons on it and things like that, which these won't withstand that for very long. And then in addition to the normal 5Cs, just for the morale boost more than anything, uh, we both have a headlamp with us, which is spe specifically when talking about kids and, you know, those that are inexperienced, maybe the wife if she doesn't go out with you a lot, or, you know, your brother if he's not a big outdoorsman, having that artificial light at night will do you a lot of good. It'll really help you out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hep out, step out of here, and we'll see you guys up there by the rocks. Walking sticks. Got them. We got our uh, camelbacks with our five C's in it, and completely covered in SPF, was it like 50 super sport something, supposed to never come off. So we're going to go ahead and head up there. If uh, some of you guys are thinking I'm going out into the desert, and I'm going to be talking about survival, without one particular item, you're right. You're right. And that's a point that we're going to make when we get out there. We do have those items, and I'm going to try to find a way to sneak them out there so we can talk about the benefits of them, though I haven't been able to get them into my pockets away from somebody's eyesight just yet.
like over here is a good spot because you see it like, yeah, you don't want to be here. You have to be a snake underneath there. You're going to try to reach over to grab this rock and pull it. You get on the hand. shade we'll actually use this to catch water in the morning because what it'll do is it'll do on here okay. and as you do it'll drop down in here and then we'll be able to we'll be able to actually like uh, maybe use a shirt mm -hmm. and we'll be able to soak some water up out of it and suck the water off that's pretty good <laughs> all right baby now Ready to take this down? Mm. 
No? Not yet. Well, then we got to start fixing it then. We got to start improving on it then. Okay. All right, so let's see what we can do. Ah. Dad? Yes, ma'am. When are we going to use our five C's on this trip? We are, honey. We're already using them. What are you talking about? We've already used... Well, I mean, like... My cutting tool and... We've already used your cutting tool, didn't we? Yeah, and we haven't used the matches yet. The what? The matches. Nope, that's because it's hot. We don't need matches right now, baby girl. Hi. 